Hello guys, in this video we will take a look how we can upgrade Latitude 5401 with the second HDD, with the second SSD drive. It's something you can order online, this, this model is, comes with just one disk and is not officially supported and we will take a look how we can do it. So first we will need to get inside. Uh, to do so you need to uh, loosen these uh, six, seven, eight screws and they don't come off completely, uh, you just loosen them. Uh, next part is removing this back plate is quite hard on this model. You have to shove something plastic uh, over here and or over here and just to really push it out. So let's take a look inside. So if you look inside, uh, you can see that you have one free slot for an uh, uh, RAM module, which is nice because you can you can get 32 gigs. So I have 16 gigs and I can buy a new one. And as you can see, there is the SSD drive, which is currently installed. And unfortunately, even though there is a lot of space, there is no second port to connect a different or second drive. I seen models where there was HDD uh, port over here, but I don't have that on my motherboard. So even though I would be able to put something over here like MSATA disk or, or something small, it's not possible because there is no connection. But there is one more port which is usually available on, on uh, the professional laptops or, or the latitude models and that's uh, WWAN port. And this port is used mainly for uh, LTE model uh, cars or some special cars. But uh, what's interesting about this port is that, that it's actually PCIe, uh, PCI connector, and you can connect M2 SSD there, but you have to get a really small one. So this is a Toshiba, Toshiba SSD, and then uh, it's the version NVMe SSD type. It's not the SATA, which is important. Uh, I'm not sure if SATA would be working in this port. So it's the PCIe, PCIe version. And this is version with uh, 240 gigs. And I will put a link in the description uh, where you can order it. And it's, it's important that it's a small version. You know, it's not usually the M2, M2 discs are large as this one. And this one is just half the size. So let's put it in. Uh, you just shove it really hard uh, over there and the problem is when you when you close it it always jumps back and unfortunately they don't give you the screw over here and it's this really small screw and you can get it somewhere else but what we can do is we can use this one because uh, this SD is uh, using two screws and this second one isn't that important because even though when you disconnect it, it still holds pretty, pretty, pretty good. So you don't need it. So we will use it over here. Uh, the small screws are quite hard to get in. Okay, like that. And it's secured in place. This one is also fine. And let's start it up. Okay, so let's start up the laptop. And I'm using the Windows 10, the original version, which was there. Uh, uh, but it sh theoretically, it should work also if you install Linux or any, any other system. So let's log in. And when you start up, you are not going to see see the disk uh, uh, right right away, because first first we can check if it's uh, if it's really there using the device device manager. So let's let's open device 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 manager, and when you open disk drives, you can see that there is the Toshiba RC one which is the new drive we put in, and there is the 500 version SSD, which was already there. So to, to initialize the disk, we have to, we have to run uh, disk management software. It's disk uh, 
mgmt.msc. And when we start up the disk management, you can see that the disk is over here, but it's unallocated. So we will just format it, assign a letter, and we can use an TFC, uh, let's say, let's take the disk, finish. And as you can see, we have the second disk and the bit locker is automatically applied. And that's it. We can create new files and we are, we are good to go with the second disk on this laptop. And theoretically, it should work on other Latitude laptops. But as, as I said, this is something which is officially supported. So you will have to probably will, you will have to try if it's really supported. But for this laptop, Latitude 5401, it works and it's perfect.